there. My name is Catherine, and tonight we are going to be walking through a mindfulness exercise for visual journaling. And so the supplies that you need for tonight's exercise is just a piece of paper, or you, if you're using a sketchbook for your journaling practice, get your sketchbook. You need a pencil to write with, and then some sort of coloring utensil. So it could be crayons, color pencils, markers, I have oil pastels, or watercolor or a variety of a couple of different supplies. Whatever you have at home and whatever you are comfortable using. You don't wanna be fumbling around or not feeling confident with your supplies. So mindfulness is just doing a check-in with yourself. It's taking pause and taking inventory about the emotions that are coursing through your body. So it's Friday night, it's the end of a busy week of homeschooling, working from home, juggling things, all the pressures and stressors of this COVID-19 pandemic. And so I find by the end of a busy week, I feel like I'm full. And so this has just always been a really great way to kind of empty and take those feelings and emotions and get them out onto paper in a visual way. And it kind of resets me for a really peaceful, Sabbath-filled weekend. So the first thing, that we're gonna do is a writing exercise and it's gonna lead into the visual part. So my friend Erica is a yoga teacher and she does a really beautiful like journaling practice and her advice is to write for five minutes continuously. And so that's what I'm gonna ask you to do tonight. How do you feel in your body? When you close your eyes, what is coursing through your brain, through your heart? What emotions or thoughts can you cannot seem to shake? What's the overriding thing? Is it fear, anger, frustration, depletion? Are you exhausted? Are you feeling energetic or hopeful? Whatever it is that you're feeling, I want you to spend 30 seconds breathing in and out with your eyes closed and just take inventory about what keeps entering your brain, what things can you not shake? Then set your timer for five minutes and I want you to write continuously for five minutes. Do not proofread it or fix grammar. Do not go back and reread it. Just let it come out for five minutes. No judgment, no restraint, no skipping over thoughts or repressing feelings. Just get it all out into writing. So I'm going to have you pause right here. Do a 30 minute or 30 second breathing in and out and just trying to tap into what you're feeling and then write for five minutes. All right, so now that you have some of your thoughts down on paper, I want you to reread what you wrote and start circling some major emotions, some reoccurring themes, some things that stick out to you. What, are, what is the, the undercurrent lying in your, your words? Start finding some themes or just some things that stick out to you. Now, I want you to think about, maybe even close your eyes and visualize if your overall emotion is despair or hopefulness or sadness, whatever you think your words are saying to you. Close your eyes and think, what does this emotion look like? If I had to put a color, a shape, a weight, a texture, is it a rough, coarse, gritty feeling? Is it a soft, em em enveloping feeling where you feel secure or safe? Is it, what temperature is it? Is it warm? Is it cool? Is it gloomy? Is it sunny? If you had to put some visual language to that feeling, what would it look like? Now here's where it might get a little bit abstract for you or a little bit maybe awkward. And I'm gonna encourage you to push through and lean in to maybe the uncomfortableness or the awkwardness because maybe you've never done this part of an exercise before. I want you to visually think about those emotions that you wrote down and think about the colors, the lines, the shapes, the weight of it, the temperature of it, um, all of that. And I want you to pick up the first color that comes to your brain, whether it's yellow or red. Now, I don't want you to do, oh, I'm feeling really sunny. 
and happy, so I'm gonna instinctually pick up the yellow. If it is yellow for you, pick up the yellow, but red does not always mean anger, and blue does not always mean calm, and yellow does not always mean sunny. So I want you to close your eyes and just get in tune to what you are feeling. Now, you're gonna make some marks with your color. So pick up the first instinctual color, and I want you to go with your gut and just start making some marks. What feels good? Put on some music and you can switch colors. You can all use the same color. You can start with an oil pastel and move over to water, watercolor and mix it up. But I really want you to go with your intuition here. And it's just a way to release everything that is kind of coursing through your body and your brain right now. So I want you to take a maybe a four to five minute break and just get it all out on paper. Play some music, set a timer, and pick up the first color that comes to your brain. All right, so I spent four to five minutes making some marks. I started off with oil pastel because they're wax-based, oil-based, and so uh, I made some marks, and then I used a watercolor over top as a wash, and it created kind of a cool background wash to it. So mine, I think if I had to reflect on like what I wrote, this was a really productive week. I had a lot of creative output. The weather was great. I had some high energy, lots of sleep. And so mine tended to lean towards more upbeat, positive, lots of motion, lots of forward moving motion. And so yours is not gonna look anything like mine. And I think we also need to get rid of the stigma that art always has to be beautiful and that if I'm not familiar with this and I can't make beautiful art, then I sh it's not worth doing. And so if we scratch that and just say, this art is for me, it's personal and it's reflective. It's just another way, another vehicle to communicate what I'm feeling. Um, I think we can better access our, our you know, mindfulness. And I love having the written word, the written passage with the visual because in a week from now or two weeks from now, we can take a look back at what we were going through. Maybe there's some uh, repeating patterns that need more of our attention, more of our energy, or things that we have healed through and gr grown through, things that we can be proud of and, you know, tell our stories. And so this is just a way to collect our thoughts, our feelings, our experiences. And I hope it's something that you do revisit maybe on a regular basis. It's something I tend to do as the week closes. So my head is clear. All of this emotional energy is put out on paper and I can kind of reset my emotional capacity for a really clear, peaceful, Sabbath-filled weekend with my family. So I hope you found this useful and I hope it's something that you revisit in your visual journaling practice.